Ceiling fans are the most common appliance used in homes. The energy use can go up to 120 units per month. This is more than what a medium-sized refrigerator would consume. Ceiling fan is something that has not seen any innovation for the last 40 to 50 years. And since we already had an expertise in electronics and motors, we decided we might as well get into it and make a big brand in energy efficient ceiling fan. It's a ceiling fan, but it also works with a remote, a remote that has timer mode, that has sleep mode. So it is combining the virtues of energy efficiency as well as smartness. So we see the difference with a normal ceiling fan. Here we are using permanent magnets as rotors. So by using this technology, all the heat losses and all the other power losses are eliminated. And hence, as a result, we could achieve the 28 watt power consumption at maximum speed. Whereas for any normal ceiling fan, the power consumption is around 75 to 80 watts. Global Clean Tech Innovation Program has been a very good experience for all of us. They taught us various parts of the business that are part of a clean tech venture. And apart from this, it gave us access to an entire ecosystem basically. A network of mentors, venture capitalist investors who are interested in the clean tech space. And a lot of peer-to-peer -peer learning was also there from this program. Bunch of young guys have passionately developed to blow air all over the world. They have knocked off the efficiency of a conventional fan by a remarkable percentage. Comparing to a regular fan which is conventionally available, these people are extremely passionate about their product. They have sat through the night developing algorithms, developing the electronics for this. It's not just about making money, it's about how it is going to impact the country as a whole and the world as a whole because fans are used in, in a large part of planet Earth. The major thrust in clean tech comes from the government side. Every government department would need ceiling fans. So why not come up with something that 10% of the procurement has to be ener super energy efficient fans. Doesn't matter how good your product is, how much of a research you do internally, you won't be able to come up with the best product until and unless you actually iterate and do some pilots. India emerging as a hotbed for startups. I think this is the best time to be an innovator in India. Like India definitely will grow a lot because with this huge population and with conventional ways of power generation having its own limit. So clean tech is definitely going to grow.